Hello everybody, it is, I gotta tell you guys what day it is, that'll keep me on track. <laughs> it's Sunday. Today is day two of our isolation. Um, so I'll give you updates real quick and then we'll jump into our day and just spending time together. Um, as of last night, what happened after talking to you guys is um, Charles's work informed him that they are going to start working from home so he won't be leaving. And the kids' college said um, that they will finish this year out at home. They won't come back at all. And I expect, honestly, to hear the same from the kids' school. Um, the governor did say here that that absolutely is a good possibility. So um, that we're expecting to happen. He is not talking today at 2, so I can't really give you guys an update at 2 on what's going on, other than I can tell you our case numbers because that updates on our website here. Um, that is following just tracking Ohio's numbers so I can share that with you which we know will be up from 26 yesterday so if you are just following us and catching up we are a family of 10 we do have one with autism he's our youngest and we actually have the coronavirus right here in our county so it is definitely right here <laughs> with us so we're, we're definitely you know a little bit nervous about that um, <clears throat> you're gonna hear a lot of coughing guys today they definitely have a cold I've been reading the charts so definitely is following the line of a cold and all the sinuses not the coronavirus um, I am again having bronchitis so you guys will hear me get kind of short of breath just know I really feel like that's all it is it's just bronchitis I don't feel like we have the, the virus here and hopefully everybody being home we can keep it that way uh, Charles is also down with the cold Ronnie has a cold Theo and Luke that's who all oh and Jake that's who all has the cold at the moment here um, somebody else said make sure that we're opening our windows and airing out the house since we are isolating ourselves you have to be by somebody that has it to get it so we will be in our backyard we will go outside we will play outside. We will be in our front yard. We're just not allowing anybody to come here and we're not going anywhere. So that way we're not in contact with people. And we do, if at all possible, think that, you know, everybody else should do that too. Um, but yes, so let's go on and just jump into the day and just start with here's what we have for breakfast and then I'll just spend the day with you guys and I'll update you on our numbers at two when we get our updated numbers. Okay, so here is breakfast today, and it is about going on 10 <laughs> just now doing breakfast. But you guys, we have all this banana bread is left. So here is the, um, I think that's the, the blueberry one. And then we have grapes, and here is the chocolate chip variety. So they're going to go on and eat that. I'm just going to leave that sit out. I've got Ronnie here waiting to go, and they're going to dig into this. So while everybody is home Daddy, under Daddy. quarantine, what are we going to do? We're going to go on to potty, right? He's going to be two at the end of the month, and he loves to be clean. So you want that one? So he got his new little undies, little dinosaur. They're the thick, like, training pants. So if he starts to have an accident, it catches some of them. Right there, do you love that one? Do you love it? The back of your hair is going crazy. Yeah, who did that? I see that. Did you do it? No. Did mommy do it? Who do it? Yeah, yeah, I did it. Yeah, yeah, I did it. I knew it. You knew it. That is your big truck. Okay, so it is 2.30 and um, 2 30 ish and they did the update of the numbers here. So we went from 26 cases to 36. I honestly expected it to be higher. Um, and I am definitely sick. I have the kids sick. So I have been in bed pretty much ever since I got up this morning. <coughs> Charles is in the bed too. So the kids are kind of taking over and they're in here making our food. You hear Luke talking like crazy. I don't know what they're making. They're making lunch. What are you guys making? A surprise. 
Like All right, let's go find your remote. And he is still miserable in his pajamas. He's just miserable. All right, you guys are gonna show what you're done when you're done making, right? All right. What are you having, Ronnie? Spaghetti, Katie. Okay, so I just heated up my spaghettios and I got some chips and I'm also just gonna snack on some of the grapes that are just out. What are we doing, girls? All right, so the kids called me down and this is what they made. They made miso soup, which sounds perfect to me. Tomato soup, some just different veggies, grilled cheese, and rice. That's our lunch today. Okay, so I'm up here resting and I'm about to start editing a little bit and before I do dinner. And I was just going to share with you, the governor did come on today at about 3.30. And here in Ohio, he is closing as of tonight. All restaurants and bars are to be closed. And they can do deliveries, but they're closed to business. So, um... And that's where we are at today. Things just are changing every day. It's almost like it's just unreal like a dream um, but so far day two once we can shake the sickness you know and hopefully be done with all sicknesses we will be good we'll be good to go and we will make the best of it and you know hopefully like I said before others are doing this too so they are strongly encouraging best they can everybody St. Patrick's Day is coming up don't go to bars stay home just try to stop this so we can save people's lives. So, all right. Now, I'm gonna finish this editing and then I'll take you guys to go make dinner. All right, so the kids, I forgot, or didn't know that they were doing it and did not film, but they made chocolate muffins. All right, guys, and Noelle is tending to Luke, who's not feeling well, so I'll run you through what we're having for dinner tonight. So we have a couple pounds of spaghetti over here with some options. So the first is spaghetti sauce. I just got out a jar of tomato, basil, garlic, so they can have that. Uh, or we will do chili spaghetti. And so I've got a couple different things here. I've got a can of uh, just original chili with no beans in it. And then for those that want beans in it or just want beans by themselves, we've got uh, just a couple cans of mild chili beans over here. Uh, we have our plate of uh, Colby Jack shredded cheddar. So I just shredded that from the block. I made it a little shredded and top it off with some oyster crackers. And that way they can just kind of make what it is they want to uh, to go for dinner. So that's it for tonight. Okay guys, so that's all I got for today. I know, <laughs> not very much. I had asked the kids though to film while they were cooking and they didn't. You know, it's hard to film and cook, and, and they're trying to figure it out. So, and then tonight, Charles ended up taking over dinner. I was going to, but then Luke is just really not feeling that great. He's so, uh, you know, just coughing, coughing, and so, of course, he's grumpy because he just doesn't feel good, and he's been up since four. So, Ash got up with him, though, for me, which was delightful. So, I'm just going to wrap this up. Hopefully tomorrow we are all better. I'm up here saying goodbye to you and he's downstairs screaming. So I really do got to go. But we'll see all of you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Bye everybody.